Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. One of the biggest changes coming to FC25 is the new FC IQ tactics and positioning system. The new addition to the game completely replaces what we used to know as tactics and instructions in FC24 and in FIFA's of old. This is like a 15-year-old system, guys, that is getting updated. It was due, but it's going to impact the meta and not only meta, it's going to impact the market as well. And we need to get ready for this in FC25 and talk about what you need to be watching for to get ready for these changes that are coming, especially as it's going to impact how we trade, how we play with car. It's going to impact everything this year, in my opinion, this new feature. So we're going to talk about it today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Now, really quickly, I know you've probably heard plenty about FC IQ, but just in case you haven't, I want to give you a really simple breakdown of what this new thing even is. So think about work rates, gone. Think about the old tactics and um, system for instructions absolutely gone replacing it is a whole new system ai model as they're calling it that is based around roles that's the word that we're going to focus on a lot today but roles is just a piece inside of the fc iq system which splits up your tactics into two different uh phases i guess without the ball when you're defending and with the ball and the with the ball tactic is the craziest one because it almost feels like you can move your players in almost any position you want them on the pitch you could line up five defenders and park the bus you could send both of your uh left back and right back to be like left mid and right mids even in like a you know, a 4-2-4 four, four, where you're already super attacking, you could send those guys forward and have literally no defense and be all out attack. There's going to be so much customizability with this, and that's one of the biggest pros to it. The biggest con to this whole new system is it looks really complicated and complex to try to figure out and even in game it looks like a lot of work and that's going to be probably the biggest barrier to entry for this new system for people to get interested in it and mess with it because it just looks scary and intimidating and i don't have a lot of time for this right that's kind of how it makes you feel but there are still going to be quick preset tactics and stuff like that in the game where if you don't want to mess around with it and do a whole bunch of deep dive you just want to get in and play a match you can absolutely do that as well also one of the most controversial things they've added this year is you you can share codes via tactics. You can literally scan your code, share it with somebody, they type it in, and boom, your tactics copy pasted right into your squad which is going to make a big difference in terms of sharing tactics, but also it's going to make the meta probably a lot more achievable for a lot of people. Hey, what's your meta tactic? Well, here, copy my code, right? That's kind of what we're thinking with that. So the biggest part about this whole new system is, though, guys, is the player roles. We're not here to talk about the whole system. I want to talk about how this is going to impact even the promo cards and the gold cards that we start at the beginning of the game with. All of these players are going to have roles, role pluses, and roll plus pluses. These determine how well a player is going to play in game. Think of it as almost like a stat or like a play style or play style plus. Everybody has a role, right? The base role means the player can play that role. Role plus indicated with the plus sign means this player is accomplished in that role. Every player in FC25 has at least one role plus and the role plus plus, this graphics better, we'll look at this. Role plus plus means that player is world class in that role. Few players have a role plus plus. I've kind of likened this to play styles. Imagine somebody who doesn't have finesse shot, play style or play style plus, they can take a finesse shot. They can do it in game. Probably won't be that great. Somebody who has finesse regular play style, they'll be a little bit better. That's like a role plus. Somebody who has finesse plus, like Graham Hansen, who went crazy last year with finesse pluses early in the game with his promo card, is going to have a role plus plus, like this Vinny Jr. has for inside forward. That's kind of the illustration that I'm using to think and compare how these roles are going to impact the game like play styles will. Because think about it. A play style... For a player, you're using that play style or play style plus when you're controlling the player. Most of the other ones aren't being used when it, the AI, the CPU is controlling them. Most of them, right? But these roles are going to be controlled by the AI and the CPU at all times. And if you have somebody who's really good at doing something versus somebody who's just mid, aren't you going to want the really, really good card? It's going to change the meta completely this year, guys. Everybody is going to want to use role plus pluses because, again, what's better than controlling your own player and being good at it? Having the AI control the player and it be good for you at the same time. Like, meta tactics and the meta in this game are solely going to revolve around these roles and specifically the role plus pluses 
that are meta that are really really good now just this is my favorite part about the fciq system with the roles is the visual aspect of it and how you can literally like feels like you can drag the players in game like look at this Vinny. he goes from wide playmaker to inside forward and you can see that right there when he moved it was green over here because he's going to be a bit more wide and then an inside forward he's going to move a little bit inside right and you can see here this is the clip for me that does it. This is kind of connecting the dots as to why these roll plus pluses are going to be important. Jude Bellingham plays a lofted through ball to Vinny Jr. who's got inside forward plus plus. Look at this run that he makes. Straight in behind the defense. It's a great ball, but he doesn't get there without that roll plus plus. That is why those are going to be so important in this year of ultimate team. And it's a, it's a new mode. Whenever EA adds something new into the game like this, like thought about play, think about play styles and how we think about those now in this game how every every time a new player drops we're looking at the stats of the card and the play style pluses because that's going to impact the gameplay the most i think play style pluses and stats on a card are still going to trump roles but roles is just an added new level of hype that's going to impact the game's meta and the cards that people use in this game and guys it's going to impact the market as well to be completely honest Playstyle Plus has impacted the market a lot. Playstyles impacted the market a lot. These roles are going to impact the market a ton as well because whatever role Plus Plus has become meta, those cards are going to go to the moon. The Graham Hansen example that I just used earlier in the video, remember Gold Graham Hansen had Trickster Plus, right? One of the useless to most Playstyle Pluses in the game. She got Finesse Plus on this card. This card was one of the top five most meta cards until Team of the Year. This was a 1.7 all the way to 2.6, 2.5 million coin card at the height of the market for this card in November. Dropped down after Team of the Year when this gold card for Hansen was how much in comparison? So that card was 2 million coins. And this one was still pretty expensive, like 700k. But that's because she was high rated in uh, the Barcelona links as well. Still, this card was insane, right? We could look at other cards. Luka Modric, Travella Plus, and the stats combined made this card crazy. This was one of the most used cards of the entire year of FC24. People were using this card like in March. Still. Look at his value. His price was so consistent. All the other cards tanked by this stage of the year. He was still a couple hundred thousand coins because this Modric card was so insane. And, I mean, until they nerfed Trivella Pluses pretty heavily, this card was still so, so good, right? But it's reminding me of those Playstyle Pluses being meta. Whatever rolls and, well, really, it's going to be Roll Plus and Roll Plus Plus. Whatever one of those are going to be meta this year is going to maintain a higher price on the market because those are going to be the ones that people are going to want to go and use. Now, again, the question is, what determines what is meta? What determines what is good in the game? It's going to take a couple of weeks to figure it out. There's going to be pros and a lot of people who really dig this tactic stuff. They're going to be diving into the details of what playstyle combination and role combinations with formations and all that stuff, since there's going to be so many more tactic combinations than ever before. It's going to take a little bit to figure it out, to be honest. But there is going to be a meta. It will be there. And supposedly, the whole point of the system is that EA have been saying that whatever meta there is, there's going to be a counter meta to it because of all the roles and the customization with it. Well, we'll just have to see how that ends up working out. But there's still going to be a meta, guys. It just might take a little bit longer to figure it out because there's so many more combinations. But whatever is meta is going to maintain a higher price. And here is where EA is going to take advantage of it, guys. This, the hype, right? There's going to be hype around this. There was hype around playstyle pluses, right? We just talked about finesse pluses. You think about aerial plus, how that playstyle plus went crazy this year in the end game, the second half of the year with like Joel Salu, the striker, uh, Drogba having insane cards, all because of the playstyle pluses that made them perform like super crazy in game it's going to be kind of sort of the same thing with the roll pluses there's going to be a lot of hype for those cards as well and ea are going to feed off that hype because when we saw players that got finesse plus or aerial plus we were excited when we see players that get roll pluses and roll plus pluses added to their cards in fc25 it's going to be kind of the same thing so EA is going to drop promo cards like this trend is one of the examples and this is how we think it's going to look inside of ultimate team it's going to be in the roles tab so now not only do you have a play styles tab to check when they drop a new card in the game every single uh, day or every single time they drop an SBC when you mouse over instead of you just seeing play styles there's going to be another tab where there's going to be roles and let's say gold Trent here has attacking wing back plus plus let's say Trent has an inform and they give him fullback plus plus and that's the more meta play style that's the more meta role 
it's just going to be like Graham Hansen. That new card with the more meta roll plus plus is going to be more expensive on the market because that's the one that people are going to want to go and use. So it's going to be crazy, guys. It's going to be an absolutely wild year with this. EA are going to drop promo cards and they're going to be more expensive or they're going to be less expensive based off of that. And it's still like at the same time we're talking about this, it's still hard to comprehend because we don't see. We see these videos and we see that Vinicius Jr. running behind that just looks absolutely crazy. But we haven't experienced it ourselves to be like, oh, well, I have Vinny and Vinny in this position and this role does not play as good as Vinny in this role because it's not a role plus plus like we have we can't make that connection or like think about that and know it right now but as soon as this game comes out and we start playing the game people start figuring this stuff out posting about it showing it off and kind of proving what this can be like uh there's going to be a lot of hype around it in my opinion now as you can see here right now this is another thing where ea is going to add on to the hype with this there's how many player roles 52 or something like that Alternate player roles will be introduced throughout the year, allowing you to choose from a variety of player items as strategies to continue to evolve over time, or also to introduce new exciting things to refresh the content, which I'm not against. I'm just saying like there's a content aspect for this e for EA too here, hundred percent. They can add new role plus pluses in that people might be interested in that maybe are going to be kind of meta. Imagine if they added a new playstyle plus in like midway throughout the year. That's kind of what they're doing with that just in terms of of roles so guys i mean we learned a lot this year from how playstyle plus has impacted the market technical plus anticipate plus you guys know some of those playstyle pluses that were more meta than others those cards commanded a higher price because they were more meta in game more people wanted them it's just a it's a demand type of issue right people want them they're going to go buy them the demand outweighs the supply the price goes up on the market the same thing is going to happen this year as well with the roles it's now just another added aspect to the card and cards that have the right playstyle pluses and the right role plus pluses are going to go crazy man so that's going to be something that we have to kind of pay attention to or watch out for this year and i kind of wanted to just bring it to your guys attention because it's it's a whole new different concept because sure we're used to tactics but like before every single player played in the tactics the same way you know what i'm saying like if you put sun on get in behind or target man whatever like he was going to play what the same, whether it was you using him as target man or somebody else using him as target man. But if your son is the footy son who's got roll plus plus for target man and then somebody else got foot birthday son who's got just roll plus son in that same uh, role, like yours is going to play better, not only because of the stats, but also because of the roll plus plus. Like, it, again, it's kind of hard to wrap my mind around. I'm sure you're confused as well, at least a little bit, but like, yeah, it's going to be crazy this year. I really think the Roll Plus Pluses are going to impact a lot. And it's not only, they might even not have as big of a place as an impact as Playstyle Pluses, but they're going to have a hype impact as well. And I think EA are 100% aware of that. So now when we look at a card, we have to look at stats, weak foot, skill moves, Playstyle, Playstyle Pluses, and the roles and how they're going to impact that in this game. So it's getting more confusing to play ultimate team with these sort of cards i know a lot of people aren't going to pay attention to a lot of this but it's worth talking about because if you're going to pay attention at all to the market this year or to the meta of the game or you're just going to be sick and tired of me saying the word rolls honestly that's going to happen because we're going to be saying that and talking about that a lot we talked about play styles a lot last year we're going to be talking about roles a lot this year because that whole FCIQ change is big. A lot of people are going to get involved in it because people want to win when it comes to this game and they're going to do whatever they have to do to get it done. So I wanted to make this video again today, guys, just to talk about it because it's going to impact the market a lot. Whatever is meta is going to rise to the top. And if we kind of figure out what is meta and what people want, we're going to be able to invest in those cards early and make coins on them as they go up. Or, of course, the opposite effect, too, if something was meta and becomes not meta anymore because of a patch, because of a nerd, like, are EA going to drop patches throughout the year that change how meta the inside forward roll plus plus is or some of these other roles? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that sort of thing. If we see in the pitch notes that they're dropping a patch that's going to make a certain role not as effective and lessen the AI runs, that's like a gameplay patch, right? That could very well happen. And then, boom, you're going to have cards crashing on the market just like you did with this Graham Hansen when the finesse plus nerf happened or 
nerf, right? They said they were nerfing finesses and like it felt like nothing changed. But you, you guys know what I'm saying, right? There's going to be all sorts of that involved with this as well. Basically, what you need to know is roll plus pluses are the most important. Everybody's going to want them, you and I as well. And those are going to be the most uh, card, most in-demand cards that we're looking for on the market. So that's going to be the video for me today, guys. I just wanted to open up the conversation. We're going to get more FC25. Actually, I say more. We're going to get official FC25 ratings today. I believe EA was tweeting about them yesterday. Um, so we're going to get some more of those. But we kind of already like the comments in this tweet are kind of funny because I do believe we already had the lead ratings. We've got all of them, so these will not be a surprise for us. But the next thing that we're looking out for, those pitch notes, and maybe some other tidbits of information that EA could drop here or there. But I wanted to bring up the conversation about roles today because it's a big one. It's going to impact the market a lot. And I just can't wait to get on my ga the game now and to actually mess around with FCIQ and all the new features coming in FC25 just to see what it's like. And Rush 2, man, give me some fun, grindable Rush modes. We will be there. Anyways, I'm just excited for FC25. If you enjoyed this video, you think it helped it out at all, it helped you out at all, drop a thumbs up on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Stick around for a lot of the other videos that we have coming on the channel. And of course, comment down below which role plus plus you think or which player. Like, there's some crazy names in here. I'll drop a couple of these links down below in the comments too. If you want to deep dive into these a little bit more, if you're a tactics guy um, or girl and you like really diving into this stuff. I'll drop a link to this uh, FC25 IQ deep dive down in the pitch or not in the pitch notes. That is a pitch notes down in the comments below. You can check that out there, but have a happy Monday. I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nate for the count. See you guys there. Peace.